over the an amendment that would have helped uh, the petitioners in challenging the election in River State or Akwa Ibon. If that law had been known prior to the time of filing the petition or during the time the petition was in progress, I believe that the election in Rivers and Akwa Ibon would have been nullified. So it buttresses the point about knowing the law very well before election is conducted. Nobody knew that President Jonathan's amendment had been gazetted, but was not made public. So that's why, after reflecting on the reason given by Mr. President, I tend to agree with him that uh, the amendment that had been done by this proposed legislation too close to election with fundamental provisions that will require proper preparation that uh, is in order. The president said you can make this law to take effect from 2019. I don't see anything, any problem there. And another thing I want to point out is that the National Assembly cannot override that withholding of assent as it is now. Because those inherent contradictions pointed out in that letter, they cannot do an override with those uh, contradictions still in the bill. They need to go and amend. Okay. Because there's another provision where they made a proviso to, the, uh, to a section, I think section 36. They didn't relate that proviso, which, because section 36 has section 36.1, 36.2, 363, 364. They said proof a proviso in section 36 in line 6. Where is the line 6? Is it in subsection 1? Is it in subsection 2? Is it in subsection 3? So these are the things the, the letter pointed out, and I believe the National Assembly members should look into it uh, with an open mind, address the issues raised, and then uh, uh, send it back for All right. Mr. President to assent. Okay, Mr. let me get back to you, Mr. Zekome. The submissions of your colleague are uh, some of the things that the president talked about. A, a portion of it says the figure 30 should, it says section 5 of the bill amending section 18 of the principal acts should indicate the subsection to which the substitution of the figure 30 for the figure 60 is to be affected. These are like draft man errors, which uh, Mr. Angege talked about. But let's look at the... Okay, let me get back to you, Mr. Angege. That bit about overriding the president and the timing. First of all, the elections are a little bit over 60 days away. So if the president had signed that bill last week, it would still be within the time frame required because elections are February 16th. But you say it is not possible for the National Assembly to override him at this point because of the draftman errors. The other aspect of the technology that has been introduced is it justiciable? Can anybody at the end of the day say, INEC introduced uh, technology, they introduced card readers, advanced or enhanced card readers, as they have continued to say. Now, because they have introduced this, can they go to court to say this wasn't done with the technology that INEC introduced? Because by law, INEC is empowered to determine the processes or how it's going to conduct the elections. Are these justiciable? Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, contrary to the impression being created <coughs> by some people, the law as it is today, the extant law, does not prohibit INEC from using card reader. Card reader can still be used. The only thing the amendment brought about is making it without an option that only card reader and card reader alone should be used in accreditation. You see, the election is still to be manually conducted. That is the voting process. <laughs> it's still manual. It's not electronic. It is only the accreditation that card reader comes into play. And the law as it is today, INEC can still conduct that election using card reader. And if card reader fails, they can resort to that uh, manual accreditation, uh, uh, releasing the form. And let me tell you, 
it would have been very dangerous to rely solely on card reader as a means of accreditation without giving an option for, that is option B. Why do I say so? With technology, the system can fail anytime. We are living witnesses. When you go to bank to cash your money, they will tell you that you cannot withdraw, that, they are the, that our system is down. You go to another bank or another branch of that bank, our system is down. And for hours, the system will be down before it will come up again and banking transactions will resume. Okay, Mr. 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 Ige, just hold your thoughts. Let's flip over to Mr. Zakame.